Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Cosmotea with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to our lovely little skull smiley face and the grand universe. In today's episode, I want to do something a little bit on the stupid side. I would really like if by the end of the video, we take on a Vanguard difficulty area. Now, this is against the wishes and the tips and hints of every single commenter, but I want to fight a Vanguard this early. But I've got a bit of a battle plan about it, at least, so I'm not completely idiotic here. Only maybe 78% or something similar to that. So the idea is we are going to go off, we are going to kill these two veteran areas, which should net us at least a little bit of money. After this, we are going to sell our ship and completely remake it as a bit of a cheap tactic. We are going to go with missiles, loads of thrusters, and loads of point defense. The idea is to command our ship to stay as far as possible during combat, pelting the enemy with the longest range weapons, which of course are the missiles, whilst simultaneously defending against the missiles with utter point spam, um, point defense spam rather. You know these things here. That's the idea. Will that actually work? I don't know. It'll be awesome if it does, and we'll find out later. So to start off with then, let's go ahead and let's go to you, then you, and then we'll jump over to you. Now thankfully, the FDL fuel isn't that expensive. It's bad, but it's not utterly terrible. Yeah, I think this will be the best course. I think because Veteran is now a level under the ones we've been fighting, we shouldn't take much damage. I will probably have to buy more FDL fuel doing this, but I'm hoping the cost will outweigh... Hmm, we could go over there afterwards. Either way, like I was saying, I'm just hoping that we get more money than it costs. How far is that away? That is... Okay, 427... 337. So maybe this one, this one there. Yeah, that seems closer. Okay, let's do it that way around. Either way then, FDL jump. Let's do some killing. Hello there. Okay, let's go over to you then. Oh, come on. Don't run away from me. I'm so darn slow. I don't need this. Thank you. Okay, let's have a quick look-see at the enemy then. Um... Where are your reactors? Right at the back. That is really annoying. However, if we get some cannon shots... Oh, it's like a huge armor chunk as well there. Um, You don't have much in the way of weaponry, though, unless you're concealing missiles somewhere. So maybe it would be better to just go... Shield, weapon, 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 shield, weapon, weapon, weapon. Maybe... I really do need to start going for the cores and stuff more, though, in the future, but this time around, with all that armor, that just seems irritating. That looked remarkably painful. And only cost us 800. Good. That's exactly what I want to see. At low costs. Let's just keep on doing that. And we should be absolutely fine. Ooh, I don't like how close that guy is. Okay, we need to be a little bit careful here. So, yeah, just go straight for the core. That thing should just pop. A few good cannon shots and that should be over. Yep, there we go. Lovely. No, no damage sustained at all. So little. In fact, I said no twice. That's how little damage we took. Hello there, wolf. Um, yeah, just go for the core with this one. Just break him in half. And then if they survive, go for the side cannons. I'm thinking huge chain reaction here, honestly, if some of our cannon shots hit. Oh, come on, really? Well, that was annoying. Took way too much damage there. Still got money back, but yeah, not too happy with that one. Could have done better there. Could have done way better. 
Okay, hello there, Skywing. What do you have? Uh, go straight for the core, then go straight for the core. You do have missiles, annoyingly. Well, the missiles did hit, but we did kill the enemy, and we've got all of our FTL, FTL fuel back, because words are hard and stuff. Hello there, Mr. Saucer. Okay, you seem incredibly annoying, but if we can take out those two reactor cores, I imagine you're breaking in half fairly quickly. Lovely. The next enemy is the Spitzer. Um, yep, reactors again, they're so in the center, that whole thing will just go. Oh, that looked really painful, actually. Ah, they're all trapped. We will do the merciful thing. Or you will just focus on one part and play golf with it. One of the two. I would say that's pretty merciful, playing golf with your corpse. Latherix 2017. Come on, get the blip. Hello, blip. You are tiny. Uh, reactor core, please. Okay. That was a fairly easy, but not overly profitable fight. We do have a lot of money now, so hopefully our next design- well, actually, definitely our next design will be above one million resource, so... I'm not actually sure how difficult- sorry, how expensive the Vanguard ships are, but I can imagine somewhere between one and three million. Though I imagine there's quite a lot of, um, variation, just like the ones we're fighting right now. In terms of cost, at least. That was a lot of missiles. Thankfully, they- thankfully, they all hit our shield. Why do I play this game when it's always early in the morning or late at night? I don't know why, but this is the type of game I always want to play when I'm remarkably tired. And that's not an insult, that's a huge compliment. Oh look, a world. Okay, so, since our next design will be bigger than the design we currently have, we're going to jump before we rebuild. So as soon as we get to this place, we're going to go into blueprint mode and start building. That's the very second we land. Okay, that's fine, just 25,000 extra for the jump. And here we go to our first Vanguard. I'm hoping this really cheap tactic will actually work. Okay, so straight away, let's just sell our ship. There we go. We only got 6,000 back for that, of course we did, because we'd done the FTL jump, we only get back 70%. Kind of forgot about that when it comes to selling the whole ship. It's fine. Just 200,000 less than I thought I would have. I still wanted to sell everything anyway because, well, I had to start fresh regardless. So let's just purchase a new ship and let's destroy everything on it and start building. So just to confirm something, even if I didn't do the FTL jump before I sold all my stuff then, I wouldn't have got back the full 100% because all of the parts had already been in combat, which is a bit of a shame. But it makes sense, I suppose. So, let's go into blueprint mode, just to make things easier. How are we going to do this? Well, what I'm thinking is, we are going to need a lot of reverse thrusters and a lot of forward thrusters. We're also going to need a lot of horizontal thrusters. So, how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, let's put down the weapons. Now, the missile launchers are a bit weird when it comes to where the doors can be. As you can see, they can only be in the middle right and the middle left. None behind and obviously none in front. So... I would like some space between each of them so that I can get the corridor between. Now, we're not going to add shields to this, which may sound odd, but the reason is the point defense should deal with enemy missiles, and if this tactic works, the enemy shouldn't be able to hit us with anything else anyway. So it would be a little bit wasteful to add shields since they are so energy draining. Although saying that, so are point defense, but I just want to use point defense to be brutally honest. Yeah, something like that, just so we can get between them a lot easier, and then just carry on all the way down, like so. Will that be enough missiles for this idea? Because if the enemy has a lot of shields or a lot of point defense, they could perhaps counter what we're doing. Now, I'm hoping I can fit these here. Oh, I can. That is lovely. And that's a little bit higher than I thought it was. Uh, that's going to annoy me if I don't change it. 
Okay, I think that's going to be enough, at least in terms of the actual missiles, for now. We will see how much money we have at the end. So let's just fill all this in for now with corridors so we can see our space. Lovely. Now, how many missile factories are, are we going to want? I'm thinking one per three missile launchers. Though, honestly, I've seen how slow these things work, even when you have enough people. So maybe one per two. Now, these are explosive. But if we put them too far away, we won't be able to have the consistent volleys, which I really, really want. Of course, though, that could be achieved with the missile storage. So maybe the missile factory at the back, then storage like this. Hmm. That would help out at the start, but then any sustained damage would be lesson because of course this is now further back I don't think this is the right way to do this I really don't I am no good with these type of things with shapes and such I never have been though as you can probably tell by all of my series um, then we can have the power cores down here because of course they power the missile factories themselves and, and we can put our quarters in between everywhere so that people don't need to walk through them necessarily maybe okay it's official i have absolutely no idea what i'm doing i think many of you could have guessed that already but this is just confirmation that yep lathrix has no idea what he's currently doing at all in fact i don't think i've ever had a clue what i'm doing that is a weird stingray no, I hate how that looks beyond belief, even before I've finished. So let's remove these two wing segments for a second. Thank you. So my idea here is to have two extra sections here and here, and they will have our backwards thrusters so that we can more accurately control where we actually are. Then we can have all armor around the back section in case any missiles do get around and get away from our point defense. That's the idea, anyway. Then, of course, we can have power cores a little bit further out, rather than having them kind of like here, which isn't exactly nice. Hmm. Yeah, also, I can see the inefficiencies here already, but let's just pretend they don't exist for a moment, eh? Also, we do totally need some more fire extinguishers. Well, it sort of looks like a sunfish slash moonfish on its side, but I think this should work, at least. Should being the main thing there. We do have too many regular thrusters, though. We don't need this much forward speed. It's all about going sideways and backwards if we go with the idea I'm currently going with. So how do we do that? How do we fit more... We could go back down the route of adding a tail again, making it a proper stingray or something, but yeah. Another thing is we do still need to add the FTL drives, but I was waiting till the end to add those, because of course I want to know where the centre of mass is. That's such a good position though, uh, so's that. So there's two. Could lose one of our extinguishers here. And that's actually a really good placement for it as well. And then two at the back. Except for, of course, that doesn't really help because we're already covering most of it. Uh, would you do better there? You two move here instead. Okay, that seems reasonable. A little bit packed in the middle and not exactly laid out perfectly, but it should work. And that's the important part there. We could also add a thruster here to the side or a backwards thruster, actually. But I do like this little bit of armor protecting the core. Only this core here isn't really protected. We could add a bit of armor here, but then that completely cuts off this corridor. So people would have to go round or through, which of course is a lot slower. We also, especially like at the back here, we could add some of the moving walkways, but they're very expensive and we are starting to run a little bit low on funds. So perhaps not. Could add one more thruster at the back here as well. I don't want to spend too much time doing this because this is a proof of concept sort of vehicle. There's a very real chance this just doesn't work, then I have to rebuild it. 
So it is really more of an, an idea than anything else. That's a little bit annoying. Getting power to this is going to be difficult, but honestly, thrusters don't tend to be too manually intensive. Yeah, if I do want more backwards thrusters, I'm going to have to build down something like here. Have like a box. So bring some corridors down, then have a box with backwards thrusters. I think that would be worth it. Once again, I haven't been in combat yet, so being in this mode is absolutely fine. Right now. At least. Let's see how big that actually needs to be. So, like, there. However, if we have too many backward thrusters, it'll think that this is the back and this is the front. I think there's a way of changing that, but once again, I can't remember where it is. Allow that. How do you save that? Well, we look creepy at least, so we do have that to our advantage. The last thing we need to add then is the sensor array, uh, which is somewhere... There we are, sensors. Okay, you're very expensive and much larger than I was expecting. I guess I could put you there and then just put the command console a little bit higher. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay, so you go there, and then command console, you can go just a tad higher. Like there. Okay. Please power that up, that would be lovely. So where could I put another FTL which would really help? Just watching the percentages here. So it seems like back here would really benefit from one. Eh, sure. Why not? Okay. Am I terrified right now? Yes. Okay, the very first enemy, the Ragnarok. Okay, so... Right now, back off as much as possible. Also pause, because that was really silly. Uh, okay, let's move that, please. That would be wonderful if I could just... Thank you. And also rotate. That would be wonderful as well. Thank you very much. Not currently locking my camera, because I want to see from this angle. Okay, cancel that command completely. Do this. So let's have a quick look at the enemy anyway. Okay, so Ragnarok, you are a bundle of stuff. You really are. I can see quite a few missiles though, and quite a few bits of point defense, so maybe you're not the best enemy for my first try with this. Okay, that's fine. That's what I wanted to do, kind of lock into this type of movement. We want purely missile versus missile. Okay, that was pretty good. And point defense, do your job. Thank you. It's fine to be where you are. Just stay at that range. That's all I want to see. I don't care where around the enemy you are, as long as you are at that range, then this should go fine. Okay, the point defense is doing its job. The enemy missiles are, for the most part, failing. I've seen one hit us so far. We are struggling for ammo though, so either we need more missile factories or more efficiently placed missile factories. Too many of our own missiles are being picked off by the point defense after the, the initial volley. Although, to be fair, the enemy's missiles are about at the same speed in terms of reload rate. So maybe it's just a missile thing, but I could definitely do them better. We've done quite a bit of damage, actually. I thought we'd done none, but zooming in, we've done okay. Maybe what we should do, if we just pause, is back off a little bit. Actually, um, go this way instead, so we're going away from the other enemy, that would be great. So that we can reload and then do that lovely initial volley again. This is such a cowardly tactic, but I'm completely fine with that. Once again, don't really care where you are in terms of the enemy. If they want to go towards this way, then that's fine. Wait until everything's reloaded. Hello. Hello. 
surprisingly, they can move faster forwards than we can move backwards. Total shock. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. One of the guns went down, so did one of the shields. Okay, now I do want you to swap sides. So go there. Oh, come on, point defense. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just so we're going away from the other enemy, that's all I want. Okay, we're doing really well. Oh, we're doing very, very well. I think we're going to win this one. Okay, that's confusing. Um, only focus on one. Ignore the other. I don't want... ...to fight both fragments, honestly. Is that what it's meant to do? Like, fragment out? I mean, it was quite a weird design. No clear, solid structure. Okay, normal speed. In fact, let's speed this up a little bit. Okay, you are really confused about this. Um, is there is there actually a way to make it so it doesn't try to always position itself? Just a, just a general range. So let's say anywhere within the enemy circle, just at this distance. I bet there's a way to do that. I just don't know how. I'll look in the controls after this or the how to play section. But either way, I think we did okay. Considering that this is my first time using these types of controls, I am happy enough with this. I don't like how close these are together right now. So let's just repair. Thankfully, surprisingly cheap. And let's go for the next one. The Shard of the Ragnarok isn't really going to be a threat anymore. So killing this enemy is definitely more important. Slow down. We don't want too much forward velocity when we see the enemy. Okay, hello. The Twin Cruiser. I can see why you're called that. Oh, that's a lot of forward thrust. Okay, so... So, so, so... How do we do this? It seems to want to broadside, which means most likely it's going to get close to us and then turn. So how about we stay past our maximum range? So somewhere like there, for instance. And we allow it to catch up, we fire, it starts to turn, we back off again, because we're naturally trying to get so far away. Oh, that was a really weird way to do that, ship. Did not expect you to act in that way. Still, you are now moving backwards, and initial volley! Not as impressive as I thought, but honestly, it did take out both the shields, so happy days with that. Oh, bugger. Okay, just back off directly backwards right now. You're way too close, it's gonna unleash cannons, and it's unleashing cannons. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. But, it seems like we did more damage to it than it did to us, which is good. That's a lot of point defense it has. I need to be more aware about this. Just more attentive. Oh, come on, well, come on, one of those missiles going to the back. Please take out some of those thrusters. Okay, this is what I wanted. It's trying to turn, I'm trying to turn, it's kind of cancelling, but now it's changing what it's doing. What are you trying to do? Took out one of the smaller thrusters, and it seems like fire took out something else. This is fine, but the Ragnarok is behind you, so maybe what I'd like you to do is bugger on off like this. We are out of range right now, aren't we? Which is fine. It just means I can reload. Oh, fire is still doing some damage to it. And there we go. It managed to catch up. And as soon as it did, we unleashed the death volley. And it separates into two because it's being annoying, similar to the Ragnarok. Seems like larger ships are just going to do that. We have to accept that as a thing. Why are you focusing on both at the same time? That's really irritating. Well, I guess it still counts as one enemy. Anyway... That didn't do as much as I was hoping. Really wanted that reactor to go down then, honestly, but it didn't. Now it did, thank you. You're good where you are. Out of range of its broadside, but at the same time we can hit some of its cannons. Okay. 
That's doing fine. Also, I say okay far too much when I'm focusing, as you can probably tell. Mm, stay where you are. You're in a very good place here. Seems like practically everything's gone down at this point. Yeah, there it goes. A few more explosions. Missiles seem to stop tracking after a certain amount of time. Have you noticed that? Okay, target down, and... We have no repair work? I was going to say, I saw us get hit. That would have been silly. Okay. I need to practice with that, though. Um, I may go into the sandbox with just the basic ship to get used to that. The controls aren't as I expected them to be. So, yeah, I'm aware of the problems with what I was doing, but... I'll try and fix them next time. I'll just go in range. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, you had way more missiles than I expected left. Okay, that's annoying. But I doubt you can reload as fast as I can right now. Also a surprisingly high amount of point defense. You are such an annoying little fragment. Why must you be irritating? Missiles, why must you miss this section? Thank you. So you can sort of aim missiles then. It does seem like you at least have some power over their initial target. And we win. God, that was drawn out. That was really, really drawn out. You know, one thing I didn't even notice till now is when people go past each other in opposite directions, they actually slow each other down. That's a weird little thing I didn't notice and really does promote the idea of using the moving walkways a lot more and increasing the space between corridors. As you can see, when they slide past each other, they briefly slow down. I wish I knew about that before now, because that would have been really helpful to actually know that. Also, yeah, I'm not placing these all that well, but I just want to test something out in terms of movement. Sure, like that. Well, I think we may as well go to another vanguard. Let's see if we can repeat our success, or was it simply a fluke? Looking back at the footage, there's so many things I can do better. Like I was saying, after this video, I'm going to sit down, actually do some practice, look at everything, look at the comments from the previous videos again. I'm guessing better, but not as fast as I would like. Now, before we go ahead and fight the next enemies, we've just now landed in this sector. I would like to do this. Just a couple more backwards thrusters, a couple more sideways thrusters. I feel like that should be more of a focus than I've been giving it. Making sure we can always outmaneuver the target, or at least we have a good chance of doing that. I think that is super important. Okay. Yes. Now we need to wait until the two enemies get away from each other. Oh, bad, bad, bad move. Thank you. Okay, so I sort of got bored waiting for the enemies to get away from each other. It's been like five minutes. They're still right next to each other. It's incredibly annoying. Uh, will this even help since now our people have to go through the sides? Uh, I think it will. Plus it'll be interesting to watch them use these for once, which will be nice. Also, we have no fire extinguishers back here. Okay. Do that. I'm tempted to put a power core here. It would make this section more vulnerable, but it would be nice for our people. Oh, that's so much faster at turning now. Okay. Okay, finally, the enemies are actually spread apart enough that I can see them separately. Okay, so to start off with, we have the Cerberus, and oh my god, that is actually terrifying. Whoa, yeah, that is actually really, really scary. Okay, so I can see why it's called the Cerberus, the whole three-head thing, and that's a lot of guns, a lot of shields, and a lot of thrusters. Please be able to be the ultimate coward and kill this thing. 
hasn't seen us yet. I don't think it has sensors like we do. Come on, just keep on getting closer until it notices us, and then do the whole back away thing. Yep, you shouldn't be moving like that, though, buddy. That is really irritating, actually. Well, we got way too close. My fault, honestly, for moving too, qu too quickly at the end. Too much forward speed, and it just couldn't figure out what it was meant to be doing. Uh, just as much back as you can. I'm hoping this first volley can do some damage to those front weapons, at least. Although, honestly, those lasers are scaring me far more. There we go, backwards thrust is online. Okay, now you're doing exactly what I wanted. Again, that was my fault. I'm still learning. Not blaming the game for something which I'm doing incorrectly. Okay, perfect. Are we actually faster than it? It seems like we might be a little bit quicker going backwards than that is going forwards. I wonder if I can outmaneuver it then in terms of turning. Because it wants to face us forwards. I want to face it on the side, actually. Take out those side thrusters so it can't turn very well. Okay, second volley incoming. Oh, one of the heads is down. That's fine by me. Mm, just back up a little bit more. I'm very nervous about those lasers. If they attack us for even a few seconds, we are down. It's the problem with having no shields, but of course, we have a lot of thrust because that's where all of our energy is going. Okay, turned off the shields on the right head. Took out one of the cannons, and I'm hoping maybe started a few fires? It's hard to tell. You can listen for it, and you can sometimes see... Oh! Okay, did not expect that. A bit of animation of it. Well, I can definitely hear fires now. The fact it's lasers are still up, though, is making me nervous. And it should be speeding up, because it is losing mass, but not losing thrusters. Okay, a big volley there. That should take out at least one of the shields. And there goes the head. How are we doing for distance? Okay, just keep the same command up. It's forcing it to try and turn, which is slowing it down because we're trying to turn away from it slightly as well. Actually, we could probably outturn it a little bit, so let's do that. Um, other way, though, since it's already starting to turn. Well, I can certainly hear the fires. Hopefully they spread a little bit further down. If I can take out that reactor, that would be just marvellous. Yet we are definitely outmaneuvering it. It seems so slow because we're in slow motion. Lathrix 2017. A bit of a stupid thing to say, but it seems like everything isn't very agile because of this. Oh, that was beautiful. That was- oh my god, those little body slams from the missiles. Oh, come on, take out that reactor core. It's catching up. Okay, yeah, at this point it is actually faster than us. So we need to do maximum damage as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Fire! Well, I can hear fire on the enemy ship, which is nice. Okay, why aren't we firing at all? We have them. Yeah, what's going on there? You're all doing the thing. Just all reloading at the same time. Yeah, we need more factories. And again, we need to make it more efficient. Those corridors are terrible. I've learned that now. I'm, I'm learning. I am learning. I can still hear fire, though, which is glorious. Maybe we took out a lot of the fire extinguishers. Okay, volley incoming. Going against that tiny little thing over there. Are you kidding me? That could have been the win there. That could have been the win. Speed up time. Nothing's really happening here. Yeah, us constantly turning is causing it to try and turn, which is actually slowing it down. So we're just going to keep orbiting it, forcing it to use its turning thrusters, which are also backwards thrusters. Lovely. One laser section gone. See, now you're firing better. I think what I may do is just remake this craft. I love the idea. 
not executed it too well. Still seems to be good enough though, I mean, he's winning. For some reason, it stopped being locked on there. We must be so irritating. We're a cheesy hunk of junk. God, I, I, can, I can hear so many fires. It's very quiet, though, so it might not come out on, on the YouTube video, but still, I can hear them. Yes. Come on. Just take out these two cores. That thing's just on fire, so that's going to die by itself. Really, missiles? They really do have a mind of their own, don't they? It doesn't really matter where you target, it seems. They just go for whatever they can lock onto. <laughs> We're not even in range anymore. Oh, that might be the reason we weren't firing earlier as well. But, yeah. Come on, kill the Cerberus. At least start some fires in the darn thing. Finally! Okay, we win, and we have maximum FTL fuel. So we need some more FTL drives just to hold the fuel. So where's the best place we can put these? If they could float, just in space, here. So maybe there. Oh, that's gonna get in the way of everything. Fine. So, make it so. So what do we need to do, then? Well... Lots, honestly. Lots and lots and lots. So, problems, then. Things are just too spread out. Clearly. The corridors are too narrow, so people are getting in, in each other's way, so nothing is efficient. Nothing is efficient right now, at all. Um, we could do with a few more people because of this, honestly. Let's make things even less efficient by blocking this entrance. Oh, uh, there's no good place to put this anymore without moving too much stuff. I'm gonna say there because, well, that's fine, it's a little housing area. Actually, let's do this. Didn't lose money there since the blueprint mode would have done the exact same things. Basically, just don't move around things unless you're certain about what you're doing. Okay, good enough, let's go after the last enemy. Okay, the next enemy is the Twin Cruiser once more. Okay, so we are going to go over our max FDL fuel after this, but I'm okay with that. Right now, I can't quite figure out where I want the next FDL drives, and I just want this fight to be over. I have been recording for far too long right now. So, I want it to try and broadside us. Because, although it is a broadside in craft, I want it to be a little bit slower. It's definitely faster than us when it's moving forwards, as we saw before. Kinda wish you went into the slide straight away there, buddy, but okay. Could've done that a lot better. Still learning. Okay. Missiles! That was fairly nice. A large chunk taken from the front there. And see, this is why I wanted to try and broadside. That really slowed it down. Okay, waiting for the reload. What are we? Or are we simply out of range? No, we're simply out of range. A lot of the time, I think we're waiting for a reload. We're actually just out of range. Lovely. Hmm, if that front's on fire, both of those reactors are very vulnerable. Well, one of them's gone anyway. And it looks like it might be split in half any second. That's better, just constantly peppering of shots. Okay, stop what you're doing right now and do this. That's still got cannons, so still be aware this is still a threat. Just far less than it was. Okay, bad. Focus on that one now. Please just die. The lack of firepower is... It is kind of sad. 
So now let's finish off you. Like that. As soon as one of those reactors goes, okay, there we go, we are victorious and we have one million credits to spend yet again. Well, for now, I'm afraid I really am all out of time for Cosmo Tier. It's now 2am in the morning, as you might imagine by the am in that number, and I am incredibly tired. So, if you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Cosmo Tier is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I am really happy with how today went, although, at the same time, I'm also annoyed at myself and I definitely need to learn certain things, especially when it comes to just how the ship reacts when you're doing commands. I think that's just a lack of practice and a lack of looking at the how to play section. So, I'll be doing that. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Next time, we'll add in a second vessel.